Welcome to Mastering UBS Accounting. This tutorial is on entering transactions. The objective of this tutorial is to explain how to enter transaction into the ledger. We'll be looking at two topics. Topic 1, the batching of transactions. And Topic 2, looking at quick entry versus the add transaction method of data entry. First of all, we'll look at the first topic, batching transaction. Transactions in UBS are organized into batches. To organize a batch, you merely go into Transaction and select Organize Batches. Batches in UBS are very similar to a journal, where each batch represents transactions of similar type. In this case, Batch 1 represents all the sales-related transactions for the month of January, and Batch 2 for all purchases in the month of January, and Batch 3 represents a grouping of all transactions relating to the bank account. To add a batch, merely press the Add button and I'm going to create a new batch for cash related transactions for the month of January. And another one to represent all the other transactions in the month of January. When it's completed, you press Exit. Next, we'll look at the quick entry versus add transaction method of data entry. Which method you use depends very much on the nature of the transaction. For example, you use a quick entry method if the nature of a transaction is a one-to-one -one type. For example, one credit from the bank to one debit for rental, or one credit from the bank to one debit for salary. However, if the nature of the transaction is a one-to-many type, then you should use the add a transaction method of data entry. By that, it means that there will be one credit from the bank against which there will be two debits, one to rental and one to salary. To demonstrate the data entry method under the quick entry transaction option, we'll use the following example transactions. We'll be doing a data entry for two cells, one to Centronic and one to United Company. And we'll be doing two purchases one from Key and & Sun, and another one from Wisma Company. And we'll also be entering two transactions relating to expenses, one for rental and one for salary. To enter transaction in UBS, select under Transaction, File Maintenance. There are two ways to enter transaction, the Quick Entry and the Add a Transaction method. To do a Quick Entry, select on Quick, and the system will prompt you for a master account. For example, if you are entering sales related transaction, the credit amount will always be to the sales account, while the debit amount varies depending on the buyer. In this case, you set the master account to that of a sales, which is 5000 as per our example. You need to select the batch. So we select batch 1, which corresponds to sales for the month of January, for the period of 1, which is January and the date of the sales, in this case 0010199, we're recording a sales to Centronic, which has an account number of 3000 S01. The reference but generally is used for the invoice and the sales order number of 001. You will notice that the description is automatically defaulted to sales. It corresponds to the description of the master account and we're registering a sales of $1,000 to Centronic. You will notice that there's a credit amount that's been automatically displayed here. That is the credit amount to the master account. So in this case, it saves you, save you time to do another entry. When it's finished, click on Save. We'll now enter another sales, but this time to United Company. When you enter the account number, if you've forgotten the account number, all you have to do is to hit enter against the account number field, and this will bring up a selection list. Now when searching for the account, you will search by the account description. You can either search for the leftmost part of a description or the middle part of a description. In this case, I'll use the left part of a description to search. Now I'm looking for a company called United, so I'll type in United and now press Enter, 
and the system will bring me back a matching list. In this case, it's only one account description that matches with my um, parameter, which is the word United, and the account code is 3000U01. So I press OK, and the system will automatically populate the account number back onto my transaction screen. Now, the invoice number is invoice 002 and sales order 002 and the sales amount is for $2,000 and I press save. Now we will now enter transaction on purchases. To enter transaction on purchases you have to first of all change the master account to correspond to our purchase account which is 6010. Now likewise if you do not know the account number that corresponds to your purchase account you can use the same search facility as you have seen before and you type in the description purchase now it brings back one match which in this case has an account number of 6010000 and that's the account we're after press ok and then we'll change the batch number to batch 2 for purchases for the same period and we'll record a purchase from our supplier called Key and Sun we'll use the search method again so that you get familiar with it and in this case I'm looking for Key and Sun. Now, if I know that there's only one match to the description Key and Sun or the description Key, I can press OK straight away, in which case the system will automatically default the account number to the first match. But so if there's only one, then you can be quite sure that the account number that you that's returned is the one you're after, which in this case is Key and Sun. And the invoice is invoice number 2100 from Key and Sun. And the description is defaulted to that of the master account, which is purchases, and for a credit amount of $5,000. When I finish, I press save. Now we'll enter another one, which is in this case to a supplier called Wisma Company. Now I know Wisma's company's um, code is, account code is called 4000W01, so I can type it in straight away. Mm -hmm. And the invoice number is 4002. Again, the description is purchases. And the credit amount is $610. And I press save. Now, you'll notice that there's a running total at the bottom of the screen. Now, that shows the total number, that shows the total amount of purchases under this batch, which is batch 2. So the total amount increases automatically as you enter the transaction. We'll now enter the remaining two transactions.